Finn and Steffi bask in happiness while Brooke starts to get jealous of Ridge and Taylor, who explore ways to mend her broken heart. Also, Hope and Carter continue with the kissing. It was a dramatic five days in Los Angeles, and the bold and the beautiful recap for October 7th to 11th featured drama, hot kisses, walks down memory lane, and a lesson in the seven major CLI Naomi Matsua and Rich Torsten K discuss Taylor's Rebecca Budig diagnosis. Rich Presley for more information on broken heart syndrome. He was very skeptical of the entire thing. He just couldn't understand how it was a thing. Lee assured him it was real. In fact, cardiomyopathy was its official name. Suddenly, Brooke Catherine Kelly Lang interrupted, and Lee and Ridge lied about what they were talking about. After all, Taylor didn't want the kids or Brooke to know. After Lee left, Brooke confessed she knew Ridge and Lee weren't talking about family and that they were talking about Taylor. She admitted to being a little worried about Taylor's presence, especially since she loved Ridge so much. Ridge insisted that he loved Brooke, who made sure Ridge knew she was okay with Taylor being in town and in their lives. Akras, elsewhere at Forrester, Zendelanda Metz was busy mentoring new FC intern, Will when Liam Scott Clifton arrived. Even though Zen was going to impart more intel to Will at legendary LA hotspot Ayel Giardino, he got called away, and Liam went to lunch with Will instead. First, Liam couldn't believe Will was an intern at FC and not Spencer. Second, Liam turned their whole outing into a double date with two FC employees, acting as Will's wingman. Instead of Will unleashing a charm offense on Laney, whom he always spotted around the office, Liam made them all look at pictures of his kids. He totally turned into a hot mess and raised instant red flags. Finally, back at Forrester, Hope Annika Noel and Carter Lawrence St. Victor pretty much flirted the entire episode. The COO told Hope he reconfigured his early projections for HFTF, and there was a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. The numbers may show improvement. Emphasis on May. They both talked about how messy their relationships were. Moreover, Hope asked Carter about his relationship status with Katie Heather Tom. He basically said he was friends without benefits. A quick translation meant he was a very single man, which was what Hope was looking for. She wanted to be with someone she didn't have to share. At the end of the episode, Hope and Carter kissed. Finn Tanner Novlin and Steffi Jacqueline McInnes would spend quality time together at their home, where they basked in being happy. Plus, they reminisced about the way they met complete with flashbacks and the way Finn recently saved Steffi more flashbacks. The husband and wife concluded that nothing or no one would get in their way. Then at Ayel Giardino's, Liam, an alleged wingman, continued to embarrass his brother Will with two of the women who work in sales and marketing at Forrester. At one point it was too much for them so they quickly left. But not before Sheila Kimberline Brown appeared to look really cozy with Liam which was weird, which is why he probably asked for the check. As they waited for the check, Will suggested Liam should tell Hope that he missed her. At first, Liam thought it was too soon, but he quickly warmed up to the idea. When Beth Jordan Lynn Ariza arrived at Ayel Giardino, they decided to get a pizza and head over to Forrester. Meanwhile, the conversation continued with Hope and Carter after that memorable kiss. Standing very close, they talked about all the ways they admired each other. He suggested that she isn't as lost as she thinks, that she could be in the midst of a rebirth of sorts, which meant good things were about to happen. Later, Liam and Beth arrived and greeted Hope with pizza in hand. The trio quickly gave off family vibes, something Beth commented on and loved. Unfortunately for Carter, he witnessed a happy trio laughing, so he made an excuse for not sticking around. But before he walked away, he couldn't help but look at how happy they were. Did the expression on his face read jealousy? Brooke visits Eric John McCook, and they talk about Taylor being back. Eric loves that she returned because Steffi has her mom back, and they love each other so much. On the other hand, he also wanted to know how Brooke felt about Taylor's return. Brooke also reconfirmed that Taylor's presence didn't worry her. She's confident in her connection with Ridge, and that they were meant to be from the very first time they saw each other. Of course, Eric had to mention that it didn't hurt that Brooke was incredibly beautiful. At Forrester Creations, Steffi noticed her dad was distracted, so that was the opening she needed to talk about her mom. While she told her dad she wouldn't do the matchmaker thing again, she wanted to know why they weren't together. Also, she knew something was up with Taylor, and at first she wanted to know if her dad knew what that could be. Steffi noticed that Taylor wasn't the same. 
that she'd been living with a broken heart pun intended for so long. She wanted her dad to keep an eye on Taylor. Even though they weren't together, she needed him. Brooke overheard the last part of the conversation. Finally, Carter interrupted Hope, Liam, and Beth's pizza party. They were clearly having a family moment, and Carter kept repeating how he felt he had walked in on something he shouldn't have. Eventually, Carter took Beth on his inventory run and gave Hope and Liam an opportunity to talk. During their conversation, Liam and Hope talked about their past, including when Liam had to break the tragic news about Beth to dot her. They also talked about that emotional time he told her the good news that Beth was alive. Flashbacks played like they did for Finn and Steffi the day before. Liam needed to know if they went through the years of the good and the bad to just let it go and end up apart. At Forrester Creations, Steffi asked Ridge if he would look after Taylor because she was worried about her. Brooke, who was eavesdropping, took the opportunity to finally walk in and interrupt the conversation. After Ridge left to go see Taylor, Brooke confronted Steffi about the conversation she overheard. Brooke asked Steffi to please respect her relationship with Ridge. Steffi wished Hope had respected her relationship with Finn. Also, she reiterated that she wasn't about that matchmaking life. She was simply worried. In the other office at FC, Hope and Liam continued their conversation. Liam tried to get Hope to see that maybe they shouldn't have let go of their marriage so easily. He also wanted to know if, in any realm of reality, she would consider trying again. Think about Beth, he said. At Steffi's, Taylor and Ridge again talked about her broken heart syndrome. She couldn't get over what this meant even though as a doctor she knew all about Beaches. She couldn't understand how this happened, however. After all, she hadn't really experienced tragedy or a huge loss lately. That was all in the past. Rich told her he would, of course, be there for her. But he also said he had some numbers of people that could help mend her broken heart. And the two hugged. While Brooke and Steffi started talking about the Hope situation, they decided that Hope needed to find someone new. Or rather, maybe the new could be someone old like Liam. Carter walked in and overheard this conversation. He tried to put his two cents in but, ultimately, decided to stay out of the spectrum.